the North versus FTR gains steam on Twitter and Scott Demore gets involved. Rich Swan quote unquote retires, yet many people think that he has actually retired, and I give my thoughts on his quote unquote retirement. Santana, formerly of LAX, responds to a fan who says him and Ortiz should go back to impact wrestling, and his answer may surprise you. Sportster.com gets negative, and I discuss a few really dumb comments. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Can the North versus FTR become a reality? It's very, very possible. Very possible. And it was gaining steam on Twitter. It was gaining steam on Twitter. Um, it all started with Ethan Page mentioning that the North and FTR need to work together ASAP. And uh, then Dax Harwood uh, responded by saying, I'm begging you, we need to talk to our bosses. And then Scott Demore responded to Dax saying, well, Dax, you know I have mad respect for you and Cash. I can assure you that Impact Wrestling supports making it happen. How about a home-and-home series between FTR and the North? Hey, the champion, I am Jericho. How do we make this happen? And then Cash, uh, Cash Wheeler responds, get our numbers from the Good Brothers. So that's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. And it was um, up until recently, FTR just had the handshake deal with AEW, so they were free to wrestle anywhere else. But from what I'm reading now is uh, that they signed a long-term contract with AEW. Uh, so they are, in fact, under contract with AEW. So it would have to be, it would have to be um, agreed upon with uh, Impact Wrestling, who... Scott Demore has already agreed upon it, uh, and either Cody Rhodes or Tony Khan would would have to give the okay. And I mean, who wouldn't want this? Who wouldn't want this? Why would they not give uh, the okay to to make this happen? You know, I know they're exclusive to EW now, apparently, and um, but if Scott Demore and the North, of course, of course, exclusive uh, to Impact Wrestling, uh, well, they could wrestle in um, independent promotions. I'm not sure if if FTR would be able to would be able to wrestle in, um, on the indie scene as well. Uh, one thing I, I don't want, I, I don't, I wouldn't want this match to happen on the indie scene and not happen in an in Impact or AEW. I'm all for the I'm all for the the home and home series. I think that's a great idea. I think that's a great idea, and it could open doors for cross-promotional matches, cross-promotional dream matches, uh, and it just benefits the wrestling fan, it benefits the promotions. Uh, I don't see what would what would hold anyone back from doing that. What would hold anyone back? It's, uh, if the WWE, I can understand the WWE is not going to do that, but AEW, Impact, uh, Ring of Honor, uh, MLW, th- there should be no issues with having interpromotional matches between the top stars. I th- I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing for professional wrestling and the professional wrestling fan. And and I hope this happens. I hope this happens. I hope we get FTR versus <clears throat> versus the North. Now, it's interesting that Scott Demore mentioned um, Chris Jericho uh, asking him, how do we make this happen? There is a chance that we could see this on the next Jericho cruise. Uh, so we'll see the North versus FTR on the Jericho cruise, But I, which, which would be fine. Which would be fine, but I I would rather see it um, in Impact Wrestling and AEW have a best of seven series between FTR and the North, or a best of five series, a cross promotional match. Uh, one match happens in Impact, one match happens in AEW. You know, best of five, best of five, and best of seven series between the teams. I think would be absolutely fantastic, and it would just create so much buzz for both promotions. Our ratings would go up. And both the the fan the the fans will be winners. The promotions will be winners. Um, fans will look at the promotions for with with more respect for for doing something like this. And it can open the door for more 
interpromotional matches uh, between Impact and AEW. And like I said, if Ring of Honor or, or MLW wants to get involved, have a huge super show. Have a tr- have a huge super show um, between all the, those promotions in an effort to um, combat uh, the evil empire WWE. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're not. They're not an evil empire, but uh, but hey, I say let's do this. Let's get this done. Scott Demore, you know, get together with Tony Khan, get together with Cody Rhodes, whoever you got to get together with, and um, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Let's let's do a let's do that best of seven series. I, I the more matches the better for me, um, and I'm sure uh, the fans agree. Both both teams are just amongst the best in the world. And I would just absolutely love to see this happen. And and think about, you know, things are getting extremely, extremely interesting. Extremely interesting for Impact Wrestling. Because, you know, you got the good brothers that uh, want to form a, uh, want to renew the relationship with Impact Wrestling and uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. So we can see some cross promotion there. And now possibly FTR against the North. Uh, Impact Wrestling and AEW cross promotion. AEW is working. I'm sorry. Impact Wrestling is working smart now. Impact Wrestling is working very smart, and they're they're making all the right moves, and they got all the buzz, and a lot of positive things happening, and very very excited right now for Impact Wrestling, and you know it's it's only gonna get better from here, and I I just can't wait till crowds could come back. I really can't wait for the crowds to come back. And um, I, I really think that they could get into bigger arenas now, into into bigger venues, and hopefully the, the crowds will be back soon. Uh, I know Bound for Glory, they were looking at some places up here in Canada because um, there are places in Canada where they could run shows uh, in front of a crowd. Um, it's a it's not a full crowd, but they could run shows in front of a crowd. And, and even in the states, I believe in Indiana and and some other states are running shows in front of crowds. So. So um, I'm hoping I'm hoping they get in front of a crowd, and if they do this uh, home and home series with between FTR and the North, um, I'm really hoping it's in front of a crowd. Really hoping it's in front of a crowd, and, f- and for AEW as well. I hope it's in front of a, a crowd as well. So let's let's keep our fingers crossed for that. Again, I'm going to make the plea for for Scott Tamore and Tony Khan to get together and work this out. Okay, so Rich Swan, Rich Swan has quote unquote retired from professional wrestling on the last episode of Impact Wrestling. And a lot of people, a lot of people are not buying into the storyline. They're thinking that he's actually retired. They're thinking that he's actually retired. I was on Facebook after after the episode of Impact Wrestling where he announced his retirement. A lot of people were were saying thank you. They're posting thank you, Rich Swan. People are were posting pictures with Rich Swan, saying thank you for everything, Rich Swan. And you know, other people are posting uh, that. Other all the posts that I saw was I can't believe Rich Swan is leaving wrestling. Um, it's 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 a storyline. That's it. It's just a storyline. No offense, to anybody, but it's he hasn't really retired. It's just a storyline. It's just a storyline, people. You know, and it was getting, you know, I don't want to say I was getting frustrated. I was, I was getting a little, I was getting a little frustrated that so many people thought that he has actually retired. And, I mean, are, are these like new wrestling fans who don't understand the storylines of professional wrestling yet? Or, or are they confused? Or was, or was Rich Swan that convincing that, um, in, in giving his retirement speech, was he that convincing? I was. There was one person that fooled me um, into thinking he was really retiring, and that was Mark Henry. Mark Henry, John Cena segment. That was a great storyline, but I'm not going to go into that right now. But but Rich Swan, not retiring. He's not retiring from professional wrestling. Not retiring from professional wrestling. And Eric Young attacking him at the end of that segment and going after the leg. Proves that Rich Swan is not retiring from professional wrestling. Yeah, he, it's it's just a storyline, guys. And here's my theory on how the storyline is going to play out. And I, I saw this. Uh, I somebody had posted this on Facebook, and uh, I kind of agreed. And um, and now I've adopted uh, I've adopted the theory that I saw on Facebook. So here's what I think is going to happen. Here's what I think is going to happen with with Rich Swan. Rich Swan has been rumored to turn heel for quite some time. The rumors were out. People were talking about he was going to turn heel. He was going to turn on Willie Mack. Um, the rumors were out there. 
I think, actually, I feel, and I really believe, really believe this. I believe that Rich Swan is going to turn on Eddie Edwards when Eddie Edwards is defending the Impact Wrestling Championship against Eric Young. He's going to come out and turn on Eddie Edwards, attack Eddie Edwards, and allow Eric Young to defeat Eddie Edwards for the Impact Wrestling World Championship. And then we're going to find all along that Eric Young and Rich Swan were in cahoots together, and they're going to form a faction, and maybe they'll bring in one or two more wrestlers to fill out that faction. We might see J- Jackson Stone um, might uh, be involved, who could be involved in that, uh, would be a great addition to that. But that's what I think is going to happen. That's what I think is going to happen. Rich Swan is going to turn heel, He's going to help Eric Young win the Impact Wrestling World Championship. And him and Eric Young are going to form a faction. Uh, They were working together all along. That's what I feel. And then, of course, he's going to turn on Willie Mack. And he's going to have a series of matches with Willie Mack. That's that's what I feel is going to happen. That that's my gut feeling here. And I like I said, I saw this on Facebook. Somebody had posted it, and it's now my my gut feeling that that's what's going to happen. And this is all going to lead Rich Swan's quote unquote retirement is all going to lead him to turning heel and joining forces with with Eric Young. So we'll we'll keep our eye on the situation. Uh, it probably will happen at Bound for Glory. If it happens, it'll happen at Bound for Glory. And um, keep our eyes on this situation, and we'll see if, if I'm in fact correct. We'll see if I am in fact correct. So Santana, formerly of LAX in Impact Wrestling, Santana and Ortiz, uh, he responded to a fan who mentioned that him and Ortiz should go back to Impact Wrestling. And and here's the tweet. Here's the tweet. Um, Santana had tweeted something, and, and uh, this, um, this person responded, I had such high hopes for you when you joined AEW, but you have done absolutely nothing of note, really. Go back to Impact Wrestling. Okay, so Santana responded to that. Santana respond, responded to that. His response was, I had such high hopes of people understanding the concept of building and patience. But of course, you can't put much faith in humanity. Go back to watching wrestling. Think about that answer for a second. Let's read the first line again. I had such high hopes of people understanding the concept of building and patience. That's Santana basically admitting that they're not doing anything of note really in in AEW. He's telling the guy to to be patient. You have to be patient. You know, you got to let us build. You got to be patient. You know, and admittance right there that they're not doing anything of note in AEW. So Santana himself is basically saying we're not doing anything of note in Impact Wrestling. And he says, uh, then he says, of course, you can't put much faith in humanity. I, I don't know what that means uh, it, it was almost like he, he didn't know how to respond to to this um to this post by this gentleman who, who was just making a lot of sense who was just telling it like it is and it, it's a truthful truthful post and so like santana like how am i gonna respond to that this guy is right right but he he tried his best in answering he did his best in answering but but it's still kind of a subtle admittance that yeah we're not doing much of we're not doing really much in aew right now but uh, you know you know have patience have patience. We we might get there. We, we we might do something of note. You know, sometime down somewhere down the road, we might do something of note or, or something interesting. Uh, but you know, you gotta understand the concept of building patience. You'll be patient. A year from now, we might uh, we might do something interesting in impact in um, AEW. But so I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say hey Santana and Ortiz maybe when your contract runs out with AEW maybe you want to come back to Impact Wrestling because you were you were once considered one of the best tag teams in the world you were once considered and I even tweeted many times Santana and Ortiz are one of the best tag teams in the world but they're not really they they're not one of the best tag teams anymore um, uh, since they moved to AEW. Because why? Because they're not doing anything of note lately. Like this guy said, like Santana just subtly admitted to. So um, contract runs out, you know, I'm sure Scott Demore will welcome you guys back with open arms and and uh, you could, um, you know, 
regain the relevance you had when you, when you were in Impact Wrestling by coming back to Impact Wrestling because uh, it's apparent that Impact Wrestling knew how to handle you. They knew how to book you. They knew how to make you stars. AEW doesn't appear to really know what the heck to do with you. And um, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. And so last uh, last podcast, I talked about AE, um, AEW. Uh, I talked about AJ, AJ Styles returning to... Impact Wrestling, what are the odds of him returning to Impact Wrestling? And I said, in professional wrestling, never say never, anything can happen. Uh, so when AJ Styles was asked to respond to Gallows and Anderson's attempts to get him to come to Impact Wrestling, AJ Styles said, never say never, just like I said last week. Now, I did say that it's unlikely, and AJ Styles did say it's unlikely that he would come back to Impact Wrestling. But I said never say never. AJ Styles said never say never. So me and AJ Styles are on the same page. We're on the same page. So never say never. You never know what could happen in professional wrestling. And um, a year from now, we could see AJ Styles back in Impact Wrestling. Why? Because never say never. Never say never. Okay, so let's move on. Sportster. Sportster, but before actually before I, I mentioned, Impact Wrestling has been doing a lot of positive stuff as of late. A lot of positive things as of late. They've brought in so much more talent. You know, I don't need to mention who they brought in, um, but it's they're they're really on the right track. A lot of buzz around Impact Wrestling. A lot of positivity right now in Impact Wrestling. Lots and lots of great potential right now in Impact Wrestling. The ratings are going up. Everything is just just working fantastically right now for impact wrestling so what is the sportster the sportster the sportster.com what do they do do they try to capitalize on this incredible success that impact wrestling is experiencing right now you know and produce some really positive articles and and how impact wrestling is on the right road right now are they doing that are, are we getting those um good positive articles from the sportster.com Nope, nope, no, we're not, we're not. So let me, let me read. Uh, I'm not I'm I'm not gonna go through the articles, but I'm gonna read the 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 titles of the last couple of articles that that the Sportster.com uh, put out uh, regarding uh, Impact Wrestling and um, and of course uh, TNA. Uh, they're not calling it Impact Wrestling; they're still calling it TNA. So here's the last couple of articles, and these were really recent articles. Some like uh, about a day ago or a day or two ago. So here we go. So Ten hours ago, I'm, I'm, this is uh, Sunday at uh, eight forty three a.m. So ten hours ago, they released an article: the ten most ridiculous wrestling storylines in TNA history. Okay, then they released um, a day ago: uh, the ten most embarrassing things ever to happen on TNA pay per view. Then they released two days ago: ten TNA storylines that caused fan backlash. Then they released five TNA wrestlers who headline, headlined Bound for Glory but didn't deserve it. And then they released what, an article four days ago, 10 times TNA actually made great booking decisions. Now, you might think this is positive, but listen to the title. 10 times TNA actually Actually, because, oh, because they never make good booking decisions. They never. So 10 times they actually make good booking decisions. Five wrestlers who won the TNA Championship way too soon. You know, and then they have the 10 best WCW wrestlers who never wrestled for TNA. The 10 who never wrestled for TNA. Who cares about a promotion that folded... 20 years ago, okay? <laughs> who cares about a promotion who, who, who that folded 20 years ago? And then 10 former TNA X Division stars who are succeeding elsewhere. The 10 most embarrassing things ever to happen on TNA Impact. And I'm going to stop there because that was um, uh, about a week ago they released that. What's with all the negativity, Sportster.com? What's with all the negativity? They did, they did release one article. One positive article in between that, the 10 best TNA Impact World Champions of the Decade ra ranked. Okay, so that's, that's one article, but I, I just read, what, about um, 9 or 10? Well, maybe not that many, but there's one article out of, out, of, out of dozens and dozens that's positive. 
what's with the negativity, man? Are, are, does this website are they trying to bring down Impact Wrestling? Are they are they upset at the success that Impact Wrestling is having right now? That they uh, that they feel oh we're, we're gonna we're gonna release all these negative articles because uh, they're having success right now. We're not gonna let that happen. I don't get it. I don't get it. How about, how about some positive articles? I, I, I typed in WWE to see what they're doing on the WWE, and it's just positive after positive after positive after positive stuff. They love the WWE, but but uh, Impact Wrestling TNA, oh, no, it's, it's all negative with them. It just, it's, it's, it's really stupid, and, and they're not even watching. Whoever's writing these articles probably aren't even watching Impact Wrestling these days, and... I, I say that because I say that because I'm reading there was the one article, uh, the ten most embarrassing things to ever happen on TNA pay per view. Uh, the writer uh, Michael Wire he writes um, in the first paragraph he's like TNA he's calling it TNA he's, it's, he's he's referring to the current product but he's calling it TNA not Impact Wrestling. He's saying um, TNA still tries to put on monthly pay per views. <sighs> But they're not. They're not putting on monthly pay-per-views. They don't try to put on monthly pay What is he talking about? What is he talking about? He says their network jumping has become legendary. They haven't jumped networks in a long time. They're, they have their home network right now. And this is not an article that was written two years ago. This was an article that was written two days ago. <laughs> two days ago. So their, their, their network jumping is done. So just forget about the past. Forget about the past. And he's talking about, you know, three-hour pay-per-views in 2004 you know he's talking about pay-per-views in 2004 when it's 2020 right now it's 2020 and uh he's still saying tna even though it's impact but he's saying tna still tries to put out monthly pay-per-views you know they're not they're not so this this guy doesn't do research and he's not watching impact wrestling and i bet none of them i bet none of them watch impact wrestling but they they probably still think oh we're gonna put out all these neg- this negative stuff because that's what the fans want it's not what the fans want it, it it just gets the fans irritated like me and what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it on my show and I'm gonna expose it I'm gonna expose it so hey my message to the sportster is let's get a little more positivity about Impact Wrestling enough negativity about Impact Wrestling and they're past that right now they're doing a lot of great stuff a lot of good things a lot of buzz ratings are up. Um, social media is 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 exploding uh, for Impact Wrestling. They're they're one of the very few promotions that continue to run during the pandemic. It's time for you to shut down all this negative crap about Impact Wrestling and let's start seeing some positive articles about Impact Wrestling on the Sportster.com. I'm just sick and tired of seeing it. Just sick and tired of seeing it. It's time to stop. It's time to stop, Sportster. It's time to stop this crap and um, try something else. Try something else. Because if you're going to keep doing it, I'm going to keep bringing it on my show and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep putting it down. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. But let's get to the dumb comments because I'm worked up right now and I have come across a few really dumb comments. Uh, I'm going to discuss two of them. Um, so let's, uh, let's get on to the dumb comments. All right, they're both on. They were both on Facebook. They were both on Facebook. So there's uh, one guy. Uh, he responded to a. Um, I think it was the top five, top five um, moments of uh, Impact Wrestling um, post by by of course Impact Wrestling. Uh, it was on Facebook. So this guy says, "So Impact has two world championships, like the WWE," and he puts a little cute thinking emoji after him. Hmm. Hmm, so Impact Wrestling has two world championships like the WWE. Hmm, they're trying to copy the WWE. Hmm, so so I just respond to saying, you know, you're obviously not watching uh, Impact Wrestling if you think they have two world champions right now. And he's like, oh, well, and he responded. He responded to me, actually. He said, well, you know, I have a life. <laughs> he says, I have a life. I can't watch every episode of Impact Wrestling. You know why? Because I have a life. It's like, okay, yeah, everybody has a life, you know, but everybody's life's a little different. You know, not everybody's life is is sitting in their basement, you know, hoping to God that that there's ketchup in the refrigerator because you have that fish stick sandwich on your mind and it has to have ketchup because if there's no ketchup involved it's just going to ruin the entire fish stick sandwich you know that's 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 you know 
that's a part of that's that's people that have a life. That's what they that's what they think about. Like this guy, now, I'm sure I'm sure he was uh, thinking thinking about fish stick sandwiches and and hoping to God that there's that there's ketchup because. I, I don't want to go out and have to get the ketchup. I don't want to have to leave the house, you know, because I got, I got stuff to do. Because I have a life. I can't watch Impact Wrestling because I, me, I have a life. <laughs> oh, if, if you can't watch Impact Wrestling, then, then don't insinuate that that they have two world champs. They have two world championships that, that they're trying to copy the WWE. Sorry, I just coughed there for a bit. Um, don't don't insinuate that they uh, have two world championships because they don't. They don't have two world championships. You know, and this guy was it, it, it wasn't just this post. He was he was posting the same thing on on a couple of others, a couple of other posts by Impact Wrestling. And but if if you have a life, then then why are you you know, insinuating something that you know nothing about? <laughs> I have a life. I can't watch him back wrestling. You know, there better be ketchup in that fridge. That's all I know. That's all I care about right now is there better be ketchup in that fridge because if there's no ketchup in that fridge, my whole day's ruined. My whole day is ruined because you know why? Because <laughs> because I have a life. I have a life. It's just stupid. You know, people they're not copying the WWE. You know, the w, WWE yeah, has two world championships, but but Impact Wrestling doesn't. What's a storyline and one one's a uh, it has one world championship and you know we all know what Moose is doing with the TNA title. This guy doesn't because he's not watching it back wrestling. Why? Because he has a life. Okay, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. It's, dummies insinuating stuff when they're not even watching. And so uh, so let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to the next one. I'm just gonna pull it up here on my phone and. Um, I, I have it ready. I have it ready uh, to go for you, but you know, guys, I have a life, so I I can't. I don't have time to sit and you know get stuff ready on time. You know why? Because I I have a life. So let's okay. So somebody responded. You know, they started off with with the response. Uh, Impact Wrestling post. Uh, they, I know I, I forget which post it was, but it might have been a Wrestle House post. Actually, I think it was a Wrestle House post because uh, this guy referred to Wrestle House. Uh, but he, his response was his his post was just Impact Wrestling is garbage. Impact Wrestling is garbage. And somebody else you know called him out on it, and uh, he said uh, that Impact Wrestling needs to shut down. They need to shut down shop. They need to close because it's absolutely garbage. So so I responded. I said, "Oh, okay. So um, so why don't you um." Why don't you uh, let me know uh, what what you think is so bad about Impact Wrestling and why you think it needs to shut down? You know, he's like, he goes, ah, oh, I don't need to explain, dimwit. He calls me a dimwit. See, already, already, I know I I, I have a, a person who's not even watching Impact Wrestling. You know, because that's that seems to be the case. That seems to be the case all the time. You know, people will, will watch one clip and say Impact Wrestling's garbage, but they're not really watching Impact Wrestling. Why? Because they have lives. <laughs> Okay, that's the last time I'll say that. But uh, I just thought it was ridiculous. I have a life. I can't watch Impact Wrestling. Um, but uh, but yeah, so he calls me a dimwit. So I'm like, you calling me a dimwit? You know, you're on the Impact Wrestling page. You know, calling Impact Wrestling garbage and wishing it was shut down. You know, so you just I'm I'm the dimwit. You're the dimwit looking for attention, right? Yeah, I'm the dimwit. If you don't like Impact Wrestling, why why are you on the Impact Wrestling page saying Impact Wrestling's garbage? You know, and I know a lot of people. A lot of people will say, "Oh, it's so easy to, so easy to trigger Impact Wrestling fans." It's not, tr- it's not easy to trigger an Impact Wrestling fan at all. But if you're on an Impact Wrestling page and you say Impact Wrestling is garbage, you you should expect a few Impact Wrestling fans to to push back on that. You know, they're not getting triggered, but they're defending the product, and that's what I do, right? That's what I do. A lot of people do that. We're not getting triggered. We're, it's not like you know, you make you say Impact Wrestling is garbage, and I'm just I'm walking back and forth in my house with steam coming out of my ears and you know, I'm punching walls and turning desks over and stuff like that. I'm not doing that. I'm just defending the product because it's a, it's a great product right now. But but anyway, you know, he um, I, I asked him to explain, you know, what you don't like um, what you don't like about Impact Wrestling. And um, he mentioned, well, Wrestle House. Uh, let me just find um, the exact his exact quote here because there's a, I took pictures of a couple of uh, um, oh yeah, yeah. So he responds. He goes. So you like Wrestle House, and disappearing and beaming into segments. I don't know what he's talking about there. You know. Oh, and and there's another one that thinks that Impact Wrestling has two world champs. So he goes. Oh, and two world champs. 
So I'm like, you know, I, I, I responded. I said, Wrestle House is being done due to the due to the pandemic and no crowd. They're doing something different. It's cheesy, but it's fun. And there aren't two world champions. I explained to him, you know, if you knew what was going on with the, the TNA title, you'd understand. I said, why focus on Wrestle House? You know, what about all the talent they just brought in? You know, and they don't have two world champions. Um... Well, I said no. I said no, no. The the WWE has two world champions. Yeah, I said by the way, the WWE has two world champions, and they have matches in which people have to have their eyes ripped out uh, to lose. And I was like, what are your thoughts on that? And and he just threw more insults at me. He goes, oh, Lewis, you're a, you're you're as much a joke as Impact is. Impact is garbage and insulting to fans. You know, it was his response. So he he has no real arguments. He had no real argument. Just just some some clown in his basement, you know, looking to get some attention. Maybe this guy is 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 thinking about the the fish stick sandwich as well. And maybe he's uh, maybe he's concerned. Maybe, maybe he's triggered because uh, he knows there's no ketchup in the refrigerator, <laughs> and he's gonna actually have to leave the house, you know, and um, go into public and um, see if uh, he can. Rustle up enough coins to to get a bottle of ketchup for his fish stick sandwich. So that, that's what they all deserve. That's what, that's what they all all these trolls. All these trolls. They they deserve a fish stick sandwich. So how about that? That's 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 their that's their um that should be their their meal. That should be the their favorite meal. Um, the Impact Wrestling troll meal is a fish stick sandwich. So anytime somebody anytime somebody puts down. Impact Wrestling, why don't we just respond by saying, why don't you go have a fish stick sandwich? <laughs> be quiet and go get a fish stick sandwich. That that should be that should be the our response from now on. Uh, but these trolls are so they're they're so stupid. They're so dumb. I don't I don't I don't understand why and I don't why why this guy is like oh they should shut down. Why during a pandemic like I said, Impact Wrestling was one of the few promotions that, that kept paying their talent and kept running shows. So why would why do you want them to shut down? Why would you want them to shut down? It's just it's just it's just idiocy. It's just stupid. It's asinine. It's dumb. Anyway, anyway. Okay. Just just remember now. That should be the that should be our our response now. Is um, somebody puts down Impact Wrestling just say, ah, go have a fish stick sandwich. <laughs> anyway, anyway, on that note, thank you so much for listening to me, listening to me today, and um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you, every every everyone that's been listening to the shows and and has been responding and um, been commenting. You know, I, I appreciate each and every one, and um, I just I just want to say thank you uh, for listening to the show, and um, I'm having a blast, and uh, I'm going to be doing this for for quite some time. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sticking around. I'm defending Impact Wrestling. I'm here, guys. I'm here. So on that note, I want to say again, thank you very much for listening. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.